Hi everybody and welcome back to Developing with Mel. My name is Mel and I am a developing medium, which means that I am learning and practicing how to become a professional medium. I created this YouTube channel so that others who are learning and developing could follow along with me and have a safe space to grow and learn together. So if that's something you're interested in, remember to subscribe to the channel, share the videos, and click the notification bell so you know when I post new videos every week. In today's video, I wanted to talk about when you are seeing faces when you close your eyes, especially when you're trying to go to sleep and you are seeing the faces with your eyes closed moving around and looks like they're talking to you. So let's talk about that after this. So I posted a video when I first started my YouTube channel about seeing faces when I was closing my eyes. And that happened to me a lot in the beginning of this journey. And you have to sit back and reflection and think, did this happen before or is it happening now that I have awakened, now that I'm becoming more spiritual? And for me, the faces did not start until then, until I started this mediumship development, until I accepted this into my life. And so that to me right there tells me that the faces are something that is subconsciously happening to me due to some kind of potential fear or something in my subconscious mind telling me that this is not okay. Because before I started this journey, I never ever saw faces when I closed my eyes or when I was trying to go to sleep. So if this is happening to you, look back, take a reflection. Is it something that has happened to you throughout your life? Is it something that has happened to you frequently or did it just start happening to you when you awakened, when you started some kind of spiritual journey or spiritual practice? So the advice that I have to you guys who want to make those faces go away, and believe me, I know that you do, because they only seem to want to come when you lay down and you are so tired and you are trying to go to sleep. The first thing you can try is getting an amethyst bracelet and wearing it to, to bed with you when you go to bed and set the intention that the amethyst bracelet is for protection. Amethyst is a crystal of protection. And so when you set that intention that you want protection while you're wearing this bracelet, it helps calm your subconscious mind into knowing that everything is okay. So I highly suggest amethyst. You could even get a necklace or um, a ring that has amethyst in it and you just set the intention within that specific piece of jewelry that it is for protection and then your subconscious mind will start to understand. Every time you look at this bracelet, you're gonna know, okay, this is for protection. This is for protection. This is so that I'm protected at all times and when I go to sleep, I'm gonna be safe. Every time you look at it, it sends a trigger to your subconscious mind telling you that everything's okay and that you are protected. So I did that, I got a bracelet actually. I had an amethyst bracelet that I would wear to sleep and I would, feel it on my wrist and just know that I was protected. Uh, one of the best things that you can do and what helped me the most is meditation. So when you're going into meditation, you want to get into that relaxed state and you wanna get your brain waves into that relaxed, calm brain wave state and you want to start working on your subconscious mind. Now, when your brain waves are in that frequency, it's easier for you to access your subconscious mind. And when you are accessing your subconscious mind, you want to tell yourself you are okay, everything is fine, you are protected, there is nothing to be scared of. That will help your subconscious mind to chip away at whatever fears you have 
about spiritualism, whatever fears you have about your awakening or about this journey that you are on. And your subconscious mind is what is producing those faces. I can tell you from my development, I have been developing as a medium for about a year and never ever once have I seen anything scary. Never ever once have I had a, a reading where a spirit has scared me. I've never been in contact with an evil spirit. I have never had a spirit jump out at me. Everything has been peaceful and calm. So I can tell you when you're seeing those scary faces like I did in the beginning, that is your subconscious. And you want to start chipping away at your subconscious mind and letting it know that these things are nothing to be afraid of. That spiritualism is nothing to be afraid of. And especially for those of us that are developing into mediums, I see on a lot of Facebook blogs and a lot of Facebook posts, people talking about being very scared to open up into a medium and develop these abilities because they are just so nervous of spirits coming out at them. They are so nervous of seeing evil things or being affected by spirits. And so they just refuse to do it or they shut off or they just live in this bubble of fear. And I'm here to tell you, if you do the meditation work, if you work in meditation to chip away those fears by telling yourself that everything is okay, there's nothing to be afraid of, that you are always safe and protected, you will start to see a huge difference. Now for me, it did take a while. I'm, you're not gonna go into meditation and then the next night, boom, it's gone. That's not the way it works. You have to keep working at this. You have to keep working at your subconscious mind to let it know that everything is okay. Another thing that you want to do is set up boundaries. Now, I have a video on boundaries. I will link that down below. But basically, you want to set up boundaries with yourself, with your spirit, and your spirit guides and spirit team about what you find acceptable to have in your life. So for example, me, I don't want to have spirits talking to me while I'm in my home unless I am specifically giving a reading or specifically working for spirit. So I have that boundary set up to where anytime I'm in my home, I don't ever hear spirits. I have never once since setting up that boundary ever heard spirit in my home unless I was sitting down to give a reading or specifically work meaning meditating or sitting in the power with my guides and stuff and asking spirit to come in and, you know, help me feel the energies. Other than that, I have never ever one time seen or heard a spirit talking to me within my home. And the way I set that boundary up is by sitting in the power, sitting in meditation with my guides and repeating my boundaries over and over to them so that one, it goes into my own subconscious mind, my boundaries, and two, my team, my guides understand what my boundaries are and they work with those boundaries to help me. So that is a huge tip that I could suggest for you is to first you wanna plan out what boundaries you want. Also, for example, I don't want to be, have spirit come talk to me while I'm out at a restaurant or while I'm out at dinner, while I'm at Target or Walmart, I don't want spirits to bombard me when I'm out in public. Unless it's my friends or family, I don't mind my friends and family and spirit coming to talk to me when I'm at home, and my grandma comes to talk to me all the time, my dad all the time comes to talk to me, but I've set that boundary that it's okay for my friends and family to come. So when I'm at home or when I'm out in public, I don't want spirit to come talk to me. Now, I can tell you before I set that boundary, I used to go out into public and immediately feel angry or drained or tired. And once I set that boundary, again, it's not going to happen immediately. You have to continually do that. You have to continually go into that meditation with your guides and with your subconscious and affirm and reaffirm those boundaries but once I started doing that I could go out in public without feeling drained 
Now I can tell you that looking back, I never knew this, but looking back to when I was younger, I would always feel that when I went out in public. I never even knew it was anything associated with empathy or being an empath. I had no idea what that was in the 80s and the early 90s. And so I think I just dated myself. <laughs> and so um, once I understood what those things were, I could look back and be like, wow, that's what that was when I would go out in public. So my tips again, let's go over them again. Get an amethyst bracelet or, or a ring or some kind of jewelry that you could wear to bed with you and set it to have the intention of protection. And so when you look at it or feel it on you at night, subconsciously you're going to understand that this is for protection and it's going to help you to stop seeing those faces so much. The next thing and the most important one is to meditate and sit with your guides and reaffirm your boundaries. You want to go over your boundaries. I suggest you write them down first to make sure that they are what you want and they cover everything that you want them to cover and then start reaffirming them in meditation with your guides and ask your guides to help you. I hope you guys all found some great value in this video and that it has helped you with seeing the faces when you're closing your eyes. I know that these things have helped me tremendously ever since I implemented them. It took about three months, I'm gonna say three months, maybe a smidge less for the faces to completely go away. But once I started doing this, they slowly started to go away. It wasn't happening every night or I wasn't seeing five or 10 faces floating by all the time. Maybe it was one and then it started to go away from there and it would happen maybe twice a week. I can tell you that these things have helped me so much. So thank you as always for watching these videos. Remember to click like, share the videos, and subscribe to keep our community growing. And I will see you guys all in the next video from Developing with Mel. Have a great day, my lovely friends.